Hello everybody and welcome back for another video and happy new year we're in 2019 so this year I really hope I can make a video day obviously business takes precedence um, but I really think I could increase the quality of content on this channel as well as the amount um, I have some interesting ideas I want to finish that endgame course as well as cover more practical endgames and just chess content in general. Um, I haven't been playing in any over-the-board tournaments, but I might do a couple of those uh, this year as well. Uh, the National Master title, I'm still chasing it, uh, but we'll see what happens. So I've really been following Education by Blitz. Um, I, I vacillate between uh, playing or studying, I guess, over the board with books and then just <laughs> rage quitting that and playing Blitz and learning from it. It seems like a lot of strong players do that. Um, they'll really get into just playing over the board uh, or online Blitz, and you really do learn a lot from that if you do it the right way. So what I've been doing is I've been analyzing all the important critical positions that I get in Blitz, and if I made a mistake, what went wrong? So I'm black here, um, and this was against... Um, uh, uh, opponent that was equal. Um, my opponents or my rating has been around the 2000 to 2050 range in Blitz uh, lately, and the opponent was about the same. So here we see another mistake uh, by White trading into a losing king and pawn endgame, which I proceeded to blunder back, and he got a draw. Uh, that's probably why we're both rated the same. Let's see what happens. So rook to d5, king up. And then we see rook to b5 trading. Really, he should have played something like rook to d8 and just allowing me to take the pawn. But at least he can defend d3 easier and also attack these pawns as well. Instead, we trade. And now it's a totally lost king upon endgame. And let's see what I did um, as well as what should have happened. So I decided to just attack the d3 pawn. White protects. And my basic strategy was just to move all my pawns forward and push uh, f4 and try to just uh, deflect white away from this pawn. I take it, and then I go take this one. And I thought I would queen first, but I miscalculated by one move. So let's see what happens. Obviously, I got in time trouble, and um, that's where the error started. So I did push, and after these moves, white ends up queening. So by one move, I missed it. I missed out, and it ended up being a draw. So even these uh, somewhat obvious king upon endings, you really have to. There's a ton of calculation if you want to do it correctly. So the correct move um, actually would be would have been uh, instead of here, I would go king to c5. White would try to come in. I really didn't want white to come in and possibly push this pawn. Um, as well as attack these pawns, but I shouldn't have uh, been so afraid of that. After I take, the king can come over, but I can push the pawn, and now white's deflected, and I do have a pass pawn, but there is a very important point in this king upon ending um, that's hard to see at first. So after black takes, I attack the d3 pawn, white comes in, ready to push. Now the interesting thing is that uh, white does not want his king on e4, for the simple reason that once I queen, I get check. And because of that check, so if, if, if the king is, uh, had already moved to e4, I could just push right away. But because the king's not on e4, I have to move my own king up. And now after king to e4 to usher his own pawn in, I just push mine. And I win by one move. Check. Obviously, I didn't see this in the game. Um, but another important point is that if your opponent blunders and trades rooks, and to a lost king upon end, end game, you have to be able to calculate and win that king upon end, end game. Um, obviously, queen and then just queen to uh, d8 stops the pawn, and then the king can come over, win this pawn, and queen the other pawn, um, or just come over and take this pawn and probably mate sooner. So I thought this was, uh, was a very interesting critical position, and also the idea of uh, playing blitz, and you will get a lot of these kind of theoretical. Um, or practical plus theoretical end games, and it's best to study those when you come across them in Blitz and figure out where you went wrong. All right, so I'm just pumping out this quick video. As I said, hopefully I can increase uh, the quality and quantity in 2019. 
um, it's hard to be hard to be consistent in Q4 when you got to make a bunch of shirts and do a bunch of business. But now everything seems to be clear. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.